Scar Music, reporting for Jack Frost, BBN. Um, right now I'm with somebody who's been very active participating in, in everything going on in Chile right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, I'm going to tell y'all the questions I'm going to ask him in English. I'm going to ask him in Spanish. He's going to respond in Spanish. And then I'm going to do the best I can to translate his words into English for y'all. Um, so without further ado, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cuántos años tienes y en qué trabajas? I just asked him his name, how old he is, and what and where he works, what he does for a living. No, eh, mi nombre es Javier García Torres. Tengo 23 años y yo soy estudiante y trabajador. Trabajo en construcción y estudio pedagogía en educación física. Um, so he's a he's a university student as well. He works in construction. His name's Javier and he's 22 years old. Now I'm going to ask him why the people are angry. ¿Por qué está enojada la gente? Eh, la gente está enojada por un descontento que viene hace más de 30 años. So yeah. there's been uh, right now the, um, the people are angry as as I've told you. 30 years, um, ever since Chile became a democracy after Pinochet, um, people haven't been content with with the wages, with many things. Uh, I'm going to ask them what sort of things people aren't happy with. Como que cosas discontent de la gente. El alza de la luz, la AFP, y las pensiones, los sueldos bajos. Eh, muchas cosas que nos pasan a llevar y no nos preguntan ahora el TPP es un tratado que se quiere firmar que nos quieren quitar muchas cosas las semillas transgénicas eh, es un conjunto de cosas que ahora con la alza del metro fue, fue la, el, la, la gota que rebalsó el vaso fue lo que hizo enojar a la gente y la gente salió porque sacaron a los milicos a la calle. Por eso se enojó la gente también. Por eso mucha gente está enojada. Porque no es la manera de... So the straw that broke the camel's back was the raise in the metro prices, um, which, which just sparked, you know, the discontent of 30 years. Um, the cost of living, the, the rise in the price of electricity, water, things just to everything. Um, for 30 years, people have been asking for change, protesting peacefully. Por 30 años la gente se estaba hasta esperando un cambio, protestando pacíficamente. Y no se ha conseguido nada. Nunca nos pescaron por protestar pacíficamente. So throughout these 30 years, people have been protesting peacefully and, and it's no one's listening. Which leads into my next question. I'm going to ask him, why do some people think that the violence and the destruction are the only form to get the government's attention? I want to make something clear. There are people who are causing violence and destruction for the cause. It's not just people out partying. Now, I'm going to tell him that real quick. La gente es que están haciendo los daños. Hay, hay dos tipos, ¿cierto? Hay gente por la movimiento haciéndola y hay gente que quiere uh, fiestarse, ¿cierto? Por los saqueos y esas cosas, como mm. tomar y eso. Eh, sí, bo, hay gente que es consciente y gente que no es consciente. Mm. Hay mucha gente que está más preocupada de saquear y otra gente que está preocupada de protestar. En la tele muestran solo a la gente que está preocupada de saquear, porque mm. eso hace que la gente piense que hay vandalismo, hay mm. robos y delincuencia, y se pierde el motivo de la verdadera protesta. Mm. Pero hay, do, hay gente pero que no... Hay gente, pero sí. la tele se enfoca solo a esa gente y no muestra a la gente que marcha. Ok, so he's telling me that the television is focusing on a lot of the people causing destruction for the wrong reasons. They're not focusing on, you know, the people causing destruction for the right reasons. Um, so that leads in, uh, 
Comote, I'm going to ask him, how is he personally affected by this? Como te afecta personalmente esta situación? Mm, me ha afectado por el tema de los estudios. No he podido ir a estudiar esta semana. Pero... He, right now, he can't... Uh, he's right now a part of how this affects him is, you know, all the universities are closed, so he, he can't study. Let's see. Pero no me molesta, no es algo que me afecte, porque yo creo que lo que estamos consiguiendo es más importante. But, but that, at the same time, the, the classes being closed don't bother him because he feels that being out, you know, for the cause to build a better future, a better Chile, is more important than studying at this point in time. Is this un, una revolución, crees tú? Sí, sí. I asked him if he was a, if this was a revolution. Creo que por 30 años Chile, si bien antes se manifestaba pacíficamente, era poca la gente que lo hacía. Mm. En cambio, ahora con el tema de la evasión del metro, Toda la gente salió a la calle, en todas las ciudades. Mm. Todos están mostrando su descontento. Y ahora todo el país. Todo el país, en todas las ciudades, regiones. Como que Chile se cansó de que nos pisotearan. Bueno. Creo que es una revolución. Y es primera vez que está esta revolución en Chile. Um, he believes that yes, it is a revolution. And he says that, you know, this, this is 30 years. And that, and that the difference is when people were peacefully protesting the last time, The, there weren't a lot of people protesting. This time, it's all of Chile. It's it, what started out here in the capital of Santiago has moved, and and it's from Chile's a long country. Santiago's about in the middle, but it's from you know all the way up to the top from the bottom. Now it's 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 nationwide. Um, now I'm gonna ask him if he wants things to go back to normal. ¿Quieres que las cosas vuelvan a la normalidad? Mm, depende de lo que sea normalidad. Si normalidad es volver a como estábamos antes. Pa, como paz, si puede. Paz, paz pero... Los cambios. Tienen que haber cambios. No quiero que vuelva a la normalidad que había antes. Quiero que mejore la vida, quiero que mejore la salud, la educación, que nos suban los sueldos. Si, eso, la, si la normalidad va a ser eso, mm. quiero que vuelva a eso. What he, he wants the peace. Uh, and, you know, he doesn't want... He wants things back how they were as far as, you know, Chile being a peaceful place to where you can leave and not have a curfew or not have military and police patrolling the streets and killing people. But he, he doesn't want things to go back the same to how they were because they, they weren't good. He wants changes to happen. And now I'm going to ask him what are the changes that he personally wants. ¿Cuáles son los cambios que... ¿Quieres personalmente? ¿Personalmente? Sí. Quiero eh, mejoras en salud. He wants better um, health care. Quiero una educación de calidad y que no mm. haya que endeudarse para estudiar. Quiero... He, he wants um, a quality education where people don't have to put themselves in debt to receive. Quiero que las empresas paguen y no evadan impuestos. He wants the um, corporations to pay well and, and not to um, skip paying taxes. Um, that's an issue I, I, I feel happens worldwide where the powerful, they don't, they, they get granted, at, you know, they can just not pay their taxes and have money. By the way, our, our president, he's worth 2.8 billion dollars. Um, now I'm gonna Well, I'll ask him right now um, if he's participated um, in anything. I'm going to ask him if he's partici participated in any of these protests and in, in which way, if he feels comfortable about talking about that. So, has participado en alguna de las protestas y de qué manera si te sientes cómodo hablando? Sí, hermano, sí, he participado en las protestas. Estoy participando en las protestas desde el día jueves. Con la, una evasión que me tocó participar el día jueves y desde el sábado que estoy saliendo a protestar. 
Y eh, hay muchos tipos de protestas, no solo salir a la calle. Se han hecho protestas en Instagram con el hashtag Renuncia Viñera, mm. que ha sido en Chile el trending topping, que se dice. Mm. Como eh, han habido protestas de apagar la tele en ciertas horas mm. para que no haya nadie los vea, para que nadie le crea. Mm. Y así protestas salir a la calle. Eh, hay muchos tipos de protestas en los que he participado y que está bien que la gente se manifieste. En todas las maneras. De todas so, las maneras, sí. Ok, so he's been protesting in every form possible. Not only has he been leaving the streets, you know, past curfew, and um, I'm going to ask him if he wants to get into some of that. Um, but not only that, but he's been participating in, in, the, ha in the internet. There's a hashtag, Renuncia Piñera, which means resign. Piñera, Piñera is our president. Um, So he's been participating in social media, getting the word out, as well as uh, ever since the day of evasion, the student protests, he's been participating. And over the weekend, when everything really hit the fan, he, he was out in full force. Um, um, I'm going to ask him if he wants to talk a little bit more in depth of some of those things that um, quiere hablar sobre... La, eh, el video que me mostraba uh, de la comisaría o no, no, que no. No, no es necesario. Ok, it's, it's, not, it's not necessary to go into certain details, he feels. Um, I'm gonna ask him one more question. Uh, I want him to talk about the police brutality and the lies that they've been spreading in the media. Uh, por favor, habla sobre la brutalidad policial y las mentiras y montajes. Eh, montajes han habido desde hace mucho tiempo. Yo creo que hubo muchos montajes en el golpe de estado en el 73 y que no se veían porque no habían celulares. Y mm. la gente no pudo grabar eso. Y también creo que hay muchos montajes en el territorio de los mapuches, en la Araucanía, cuando dicen que queman camiones, Creo que todo eso es mentira. Es mentira que quemaron la, el metro San Pablo. Fueron los policías los que quemaron eso. Hay videos de policías prendiendo fuego en otros lugares. Y la policía está reprimiendo a toda la gente. No solo a los delincuentes. Sino que también a los que luchan pacíficamente. He estado en esas protestas y me he dado cuenta de cómo te tiran gases lacrimógenos. Eh, te tiran... He visto policías tirando con ondas, ¿cachai? Y tirando balas a matar, solo por el hecho de manifestarte. So, the police, they're not just going after the quote-unquote delinquents that are causing crime. They're, they're going after everyone, even the peaceful protesters. Um, they're, they're throwing tear gas, um, water cannons, um, bullets. Um, it's, it's madness. Um, I'm going to ask him if there's anything else you'd like to add. Um, hay algo más que le gusta agregar? ¿Qué más puedo decir? Que vamos a seguir luchando hasta que se consigan las cosas. Y que es la única manera porque siempre que se protestó no se consiguió nada. Y la tele no mostró lo que de verdad pasaba en la calle. Siempre mostró la delincuencia y eso. Y la gente se dio cuenta de que eso es mentira. Y esta revolución va a traer cambios buenos. So he says that, um, keep fighting, that Chile is going to keep fighting and they're not going to give up fighting this time until they receive the changes that they want. And that, um, you know, the television is just showing lies, you know, trying to paint this all on, um, delinquents criminals um, and uh, that there's videos of the police you know um, participating in this that that um, you know the, the metro and that the buildings various buses everything it was the police that that set that on fire and that the differences between now and 73 when Chile became a dictatorship is that back then all the lies were you know what 
what you saw on TV was what all what was the only thing you saw unless you were out witnessing it personally and even then you had no proof the difference is today now everybody has a phone in their pocket so now everyone can record what's going on so you know the lies you know people people now are awake that the media is lying so with that said scarred music reporting for Jack Frost BBN and that's all I got if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.